Tuesday, Tuesday, September 1st at uh, to the uh, Charter Revision Committee. And I am the only one in this committee room, so I'm taking my mask off, but otherwise I will wear it. All right, so I will start by making a motion. That pursuant to Governor Lee's executive order number 16 regarding electronic meetings as extended by executive orders number 34 and 51, I make a motion that this committee meeting agenda constitutes essential business to the Metropolitan Council and that meeting electronically is necessary to protect the health, safety, and welfare of Tennesseans in light of the outbreak. Second. So I have a second. Are there any discussion on that executive order motion? Otherwise, uh, all in favor? Aye. And uh, very good. Against? Very good. Um, if you are on the committee and you are here, please raise your hand and I will uh, uh, do the roll real quick. Let's see. Uh, Councilmember Rosenberg, Mendez, Welsh, Councilmember Roten, Councilmember Percher. Present and accounted for chair. Very good, thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's my military days flashbacks. I'm sorry. <laughs> I like it. I like it. And Councilmember O'Connell, are you here? Uh, and Councilmember Lee, those are the only two that I don't have. Councilmember O'Connell is here. Councilmember O'Connell is here. And then Councilmember Lee, are you here? All right. So. I have everybody but Councilmember Lee. We do have a quorum. Thank you, everybody. And uh, you may put your hands down. Um, all right, well, we only have one item on the agenda today, and that is, let me pull up the right screen here. That is resolution RS-2020-480, Council Members Glover and Swope. Resolution providing amendments to the Charter of Metropolitan Government in Nashville and Davidson County, Tennessee, in accordance with Article 19, Section 19.01 thereof, and setting forth a brief description of each amendment to be placed upon the ballot. Do I have a motion? Uh, this is the general, so, uh, I guess we had moved previously to, I'm sorry. I, I, can I get a point of order, Mr. Chair? Please. Um, the, uh, we are, well, <laughs> never mind. I'll, I'll just let this play out. Thanks. We just need a, a motion to get it before the committee, right? I'm moved. All right. So we, have, we have a motion and it is second it was probably before, uh, the committee. Um, I will send it to the, the sponsor for a uh, discussion. Thank you, Chair. Just very quickly, I'm going to ask to defer this one meeting in order to put it to the commission, in order for them to take the language, determine what legally does work, what may not work, et cetera. I certainly don't think I'm the expert in that arena. Uh, however, I do believe that we need to have this discussion after they finish, and so I will ask for one meeting to vote. Okay. Okay, so that is a, a motion to defer? No. One meeting, yes, sir. He's not on the committee. Uh, okay, right. Well, oh. Yes, so if, is anybody on the committee making that motion? Otherwise, I know that uh, we, we have a, a, a substitute. Um, if you're on the committee, I see your hand is raised. Um, if you wanted to speak, uh, that's great. Um, okay. Mr. Chair, I'll move the substitute. Okay, so we have a motion and a second on the substitute, and I'll go to either Councilmember Mendez or uh, Rosenberg for a discussion on the substitute. Um, this is uh, uh, Mendez, I'll, I'll take this, and I don't, Mr. Rosenberg might have something to add. So, um, first of all, uh, so the two, two things here. One is um, we should substitute out and, and get rid of Councilman Glover's language for reasons I'll talk about. And then we should add the substitute to deal with the um, petition uh, where the signatures are being currently counted by the election commission. First, um, the current language in the resolution, as we talked about at the last meeting when we voted to uh, recommend uh, indefinite deferral, um, this is um, really 
bad policy straight across the board as initially proposed. Uh, it create almost every uh, rate increase in the history so required random and would make the estimating of revenue political um, rather than by the finance department. And Point of order, Mr. Chair. If I could just get Bob to repeat what he said, he was cutting in and out, and I hate to not hear what he was saying. So, sorry, Bob. Uh, that's all right. I, I, it sounds like somebody's got a mic open and there's a dog barking somewhere um, uh, on my end. Um, so, uh, in short, uh, the proposal uh, that's on the table from Council Member uh, Glover and Swope um, would require too many uh, referendums uh, for the rate increase and would make the estimate of revenues uh, political. Um, you know, as far as I know, in, in one year in the history of Metro, people have complained about the revenue projection, and we shouldn't go changing the charter off that. And again, last time this committee uh, met, it voted to indefinitely defer um, this bill. Moving on to the proposed substitute that Councilman Rosenberg and I have proposed, it deals with um, uh, the um, petition that's um, perhaps about to be on a ballot um, in December. And that, um, I've described it as, uh, reads more like a Facebook rant than a charter amendment. Um, but on its face, it would create multiple inconsistencies in the charter. For example, one place the charter would say that the council sets the tax rate, in another place it would say that a referendum needs to set the tax rate under certain circumstances. They openly conflict. Similarly, every capital spending plan that we've addressed in the last four years would have required a referendum, um, which is in conflict with the current terms of the, of the charter. Um, there's, uh, we would have almost innumerable referendums on leases. The Rose Park um, lease item that's up right now um, would require a referendum. Many of you know that there's some legislation coming soon um, for a North Nashville transit hub. Um, that's going to be at least more than 20 years. That would require a referendum. The Ford Ice Center legislation would have required a referendum, I think, for both Bellevue and Antioch. Um, the NES solar array would have required a referendum because that lease is more than 20 years. The Customs House lease is more than 20 years. That would have required a referendum. This language that's coming out the petition is literally dangerous to the way Metro conducts business and would create never-ending um, referendum elections, literally more than one a year um, for at least the last 20 years if it had been in place. The language we're proposing in a substitute would clarify um, where conflicts are introduced. And, and I'll be perfectly honest that it clarifies the conflict in favor of the existing language, um, not, not the language on the petition. And we've, we've gotten this out quickly on a substitute um, because uh, it's, it would be important to get this on the same ballot as the, as the petition. Um, many of you know that the mayor's office um, was making phone calls earlier today in support of getting uh, this substitute added also. And uh, with that, I would uh, like to ask the committee to recommend approval of the substitute. And uh, to the extent we're gonna uh, make a recommendation on the original version, I, I would suggest that we, um, again, um, recommend uh, that uh, it not be approved. Thank you, Councilmember Mendez. Uh, anybody else seeking recognition on the substitute? Councilmember Glover. Yes, uh, yes, Chair, I would ask there be a roll call vote on this. And the reason being is because I'd like to know who exactly on the committee voted against the 32 and the 34% property tax increase. Uh, because I think right now, I, I appreciate what Councilman Mendez, uh, the point he's trying to make. Uh, however, the voters are not getting heard right now. And uh, the taxpayers, the ones picking up the tabs, are not being heard right now. And that's why I asked for a one meeting deferral in order to put it to the commission to work on the legal language. 
I don't necessarily have a problem with it, but I'm not certain that one person uh, or two people on the on, on the uh, uh, council are necessarily the, the only ones that need to look at this. I think that's what the charter commission is for. So that was why I asked for it. I won't be voting for it, and I appreciate what Councilman Mendez is attempting to do, but I do ask for a roll call vote, and if we don't get it in the committee, that's fine. Uh, I will ask for it tonight on the uh, on the floor. Councilmember Mendez, your hand was up first if you want to respond to that. Yeah, it, uh, I mean, I hear what he's saying. I, I, I think I did more than try to make the point. Um, the, the language is going to have to go to the election commission either way. It's just, uh, or not the election commission, the charter uh, commission. They, they've got a meeting set Friday. Um, they're going to get it. Um, uh, on the language as submitted by um, the sponsors, um, uh, Slope and Walker, they're just, they're, this committee already uh, voted. It's not, it doesn't, it doesn't pass muster to go. If Councilman Glover could mute, we'd be able to hear Councilman Mendez better. Thank you. Thank, uh, anyway. Um, it, the language in the, in the substitute will go to the Charter Commission um, on September 11th. Um, so uh, we're just talking about adding the substitute um, tonight. And uh, um, uh, so thank you. Council Member Henderson. Thank you, Chair. Um, my question is for the substitute uh, sponsors. If, if you could, just for the, um, the public's uh, clarification, um, in uh, substituting uh, what Councilman Glover has proposed, um, does the majority of uh, what he's proposing, I mean, it sounded like from your remarks that it was um, some, you know, some technical cleanups. Is, is it a mixture of uh, changes, technical cleanups, just so people are a little more clear on what the content uh, of the substitute uh, is, please? If I may, Chair. Councilor Mendez. Um, so, it, uh, thank you. Um, this, the way the council usually does um, resolutions for uh, charter amendments, the caption is fairly generic, and then we, uh, and then you, you, I'm sure you recall that sometimes the actual amendments change quite a bit. Um, this substitute would fully completely get rid of the language proposed um, by the original sponsors and replace it with different language that is meant to address um, the petition um, that's uh, being considered by the election commission right now. And again, it, uh, um, it, there, there's, it, if I was gonna describe it, I would say that every place where the petition would create inconsistency by, by having uh, conflicting language in the charter, um, the amendment uh, proposes to pick the winner. Um, and so if, if, if we just let the petition go on with no other referendum item um, and it passes, there will be active conflicts where different parts of the charter say different and conflicting things. Um, and anybody wants to ask Mr. Cooper about this, I'm, I'm, if he's on, I'm sure uh, he would agree with the way I'm describing this. There would be active conflicts between sections and the, um, the item we're proposing to add on the ballot um, would clarify which, two, which of the two provisions would be the winner. So like uh, with setting the tax rate, the charter currently says council picks the tax rate. If the amendment passes, I'm sorry, the petition that's being considered right now passes, then there will be uh, a provision in conflict that says the, char the, the council doesn't pick it if it's gonna be more than a 2% raise. Um, in the rate and, and what we're doing is adding language to make it clear which of those two provisions prevails um, in the event of conflict. I hope that helps. Mr. Chair. Um, hey, Council Member Henderson, are you, are you good there, the ex explanation? Um, and that, that does, and just one point of clarification to, to uh, finish that uh, line of questioning. Um, as I recall from uh, past charter amendments, uh, to your point, it's, it's you know, the, the resolution kind of becomes a vehicle for, um, uh, you know, uh, 
a host of uh, charter amendments that might be revised and so forth. So in substituting this, um, just again, for the public's understanding, um, you know, I, I have some real concerns about this uh, as proposed. Um, and, you know, if we were just voting this up or down by way of recommendation as presently worded, um, you know, I, I would vote against this proposal. Um, I'm not speaking to the substitute, but um, to, to Councilman Glover and Mr. Swope's uh, resolution. And so um, I think sometimes uh, for uh, the public and the council, it becomes, you know, somewhat confusing when you do substitute something and there's a subsequent process with the commission and, and so on. Um, but in substituting this, we would not necessarily um, uh, uh, thwart, I guess, um, Councilman Glover and Swope's ability um, to uh, re-engage with the resolution to Councilman Glover's point, you know, with the advice of the commission on how they might better or reword what they were trying to achieve. Um, there are pieces of what they are supporting um, that I think if they were worded more um, accurately or uh, technically correct, um, you know, might have uh, some merit, but I also am concerned just the process that we're taking, um, you know, charter revision is very um, significant. So it's not something I think we should do uh, lightly, but I guess the, the kind of the final wrap up piece, Councilman Menzies would just be that if as substituted, um, Will Councilman Swope or Councilman Glover still have the opportunity to um, engage the legislation um, and, uh, you know, amend it or, or participate? Can you speak to that? Yes, um, so that's a, a batch of good questions. And um, here's, here's the way I understand it. And if Mr. Cooper disagrees, I'm sure he'll jump in. Um, first of all, for the petition that's already at the Election Commission, I'm told that the Election Commission has zero flexibility in when the election date would be. Um, and because the petition selected Saturday, December 5, if there are enough votes, um, uh, enough uh, signatures that are valid, that it will be on um, Saturday, December 5. I know that uh, Metro Legal is still looking at that, but the, the best advice right now is that if there's enough signatures, there will be an election on December 5 for that. And that boxes, if we want to put something else on that same referendum, it boxes us in. So really, um, we need to approve the language at the next meeting on September 15. Because anything the council puts on a referendum has to be uh, uh, set for election between 75 and 90 days. Um, from when we pass it. And December 5, for anything we pass at our next meeting, will happen to fit between 75 and 90 days. So um, one, we, we do need to move quickly to get language in front of the Charter Commission if we want to address the multiple inconsistencies that will be introduced by the petition already out there. Secondly, if um, uh, this substitute passes, Councilman Glover, um, as I understand it, is still having his language considered by the Charter Commission on September 11, and the filing deadline to get stuff onto the agenda for our next meeting is the end of this week. Um, and so he, as I understand it, would still have time to try again um, and still have time to um, have whatever he wants uh, um, considered by the Charter Commission um, next Friday the 11th. I think that answers all the questions in there. Point of order, Chair. Councilman Glover. So I'm, 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 I feel a little weird because I actually had Metro Legal, or, you know, our attorneys write this for me. I'm not really? an attorney. And so I'm trying to figure out uh, how do I actually discuss this? I'm sitting here listening to our folks in, in our office saying that everything that was done in this is wrong. So I'm just asking for maybe Mr. Cooper to answer me. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm a little confused on why we are where we are. I moved to defer to have this conversation with the commission. So that, I'm, that's, my, that's my point. Thank you. 
Well, I'll give it to Mr. Cooper in a second. So procedurally, since you're not on the committee, you couldn't move to defer. I did, I asked for the committee for a motion to defer. I didn't get that. I got a motion for to adopt the substitute. Uh, Mr. Cooper, do you want to jump in with anything uh, procedurally? It sounded like Councilmember Mendez put the put the whole process out there. Was there anything else that you wanted to add? I uh, know that's that's correct. Um, it could be refiled uh, tomorrow as a new resolution with the, the exact same language in there. And and I would note that, that we did point out the legal concerns with one of them dealing with the cap on the tax increase, and and that is. Um, I listed in the analysis or explained in the analysis. Thank you. Um, Member Virtue. Uh, thank you, Chair. That was going to be my question, but Attorney Cooper um, addressed it, that he did address the concerns uh, with, with one of the sponsors. Thank you so much. Uh, Councilmember Roten. Call a question on the substitute. All right. I have a motion to call the substitute. Um, all in favor of the question being called, say aye. 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 Anybody on the committee that is against hearing and seeing none, uh, we're going to go to the substitute. So all in favor of the substitute um, of RS 202480, aye. say aye. 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 The against or abstentions? Substitute passes. Back to you, Councilor Mendez. Um, move the resolution as substituted. Second. There's a motion second. and a second to adopt the resolution as substituted. Any further discussion on, on that as substituted? Seeing none, all in favor of RS-202480 as substituted, say aye. 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 Against? Yeah, um, Council Member Anderson is a no, and all others are yes. There's your roll call. Um, all right, motion passes. Is there any other um, business before this committee? I do not believe so. Seeing none, that uh, concludes. Uh, Charter Revision Committee. And if IT could help me figure out